I'm going to continue with this next lesson where I'm going to show you how to add a vignette. Now, a vignette, back in the old days and not so old days, when you take a picture, um, you know how a picture is a rectangular format and a lens is circular? Or, um, sometimes those corners of a picture would end up being darker because they weren't getting as much light as the center of the lens. That still happens to a certain degree, but not as much. And so uh, that effect was called lens vignetting or just vignetting. And uh, you can add that effect, which kind of gives it an old, uh, more of a, I don't know, our brains think it looks more like a portrait a lot of times when we do that. So I'm going to continue with this image of Steve. And I'm going to go Control-0 to go to the full view so we can see the whole image. I'm going to make it just a little, I'm going to adjust it in the size that I'm working with here. Um, and I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to skip all these and go to effects. And I'm going to um, do this post, use this post crop vignetting. That means that if you have to crop the image, then afterwards you can, you can uh, add the vignette. Oh, maybe I should crop it just because you, so you can know how to, how to crop. I'm going to click on the crop tool and I do think there's too much headspace in this image. So I'm just going to go like this and uh, crop the image and and I want to move this so that the, that line is right on his eyes so his eyes are right on the, the top third uh, I just think it looks a little better I'm going to crop that over a little bit and then I'm going to hit enter to accept the crop and now while I'm in this effects tab I'm going to go drag this to the left and notice how I'm getting that vignette look notice I drag it all the way over um, I can change it and we, we can use, move the midpoint um, in or out and just keep it at that, at that spot. I can make it rounder or less round. But I'm going to just keep the default. I can feather it more or less. That'll, that almost looks like a mask. And But I'm going to go right here to about this range right here because I think that's I like more of a subtle effect than a harsh effect. And um, that's about it. That's all you need to do to add a post crop vignette. And uh, we're almost ready to open it up in Photoshop. So we'll do that. Well, we have to show you how to save images in, in Photoshop in the next lesson or in Camera Raw. That's it.